Hey guys and welcome back again to Tech and Connect. Today we're going to have a bit of a build vlog. First of all we're going to try to rinse out my radiator with some distilled water, install the fans onto the radiator, install the pump bracket onto the radiator and then the pump onto the pump bracket and hopefully start planning out my hardline loop. Um, so yeah, let's see how far we get today. Okay, so first of all, when rinsing out your radiator, you're going to need a funnel with a piece of tube attached to it and a beer. No, I'm just kidding. That's for later. Okay, so yeah, a funnel with a piece of tube, connect uh, a tube connected to it and a connector to connect this to your radiator and a lot of water. Preferably deionized or distilled water. Why we're doing this is because there might be micro particles stuck inside of the radiator that can cause clogging and stuff later on in your loop. So we just want to rinse it out properly, give it a shake around and make sure that the thing is nice and clear, uh, nice and clean uh, before we start e even using it. It might have been better if I threaded it in before I attached the funnel to the, the fitting. Just make sure that you do this fairly cleanly so that you don't have a lot of stuff going inside of your loop later on. So this is actually supposed to prevent stuff from getting into your loop. And yeah, and now I'm gonna get to a place where I can make a bit of a mess. This is where I'm gonna clean my radiator. I'm doing it in the shower because I don't want to make too much of a mess. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's try this. I should have probably gotten a smaller bottle, but yeah. The radiators are just about full, so I'm just going to like overflow the tiny bit just to get some of that air out. Give it a proper shake around, shake around. As I said, we're just trying to get some tiny bits of loose pieces that might be stuck inside of the radio because of manufacturing. We're trying to get that out. Oh, it smells weird. So I suggest anybody that get a radiator from EK or any other manufacturer just rinse it out um, it takes you a couple of minutes to rinse it out and it might save your loop later on and yeah, now it's a big story to get all the water out of the radiator and that was rinse number one, I'm going to rinse it again just to make double take sure that everything is fine Trying not to bend or scratch my radiator. Oh, yeah, that's the sound. Okay, and that's it, guys. I'm just gonna like untwist this and make sure that I've got all the water out of the radiator. It's not a bad thing if there's water in a radiator, but since I'm only getting most of my computer parts on the 10th of January, um, I don't want it to like go bad inside there. I don't think it's gonna, but. There you go. One rinse start. Radiator. So with the radiator rinsed, um, we're going to start by reinstalling these little caps into the end of the radiator just to prevent from anything else falling inside of the loop. And then I'm going to be installing my fans onto the radiator. Come to think of it, I can't remember what the orientation was that I was supposed to install the fans on. So. I'll have to figure that out again before I can install my fans. So yeah, let's start with installing the radiator onto the case um, and then we can see exactly how to install the fans after that. Okay, since I am installing the biggest radiator that is supported in my case, it's basically just one place to put it and also 
I'm a person of symmetry, so you do have a bit of up and down movement on it. Um, but I'm going to put it exactly in the middle. I'll show you guys later. Uh, all the screws that you need to install the radiator is included with the radiator from EK. Um, so, and even the Allen range that you're going to need is included. If you're using different screws and than what came with the radiator, just make sure that you, when you tighten them, they're not too long and go through the back side and squeeze into the radiator and maybe puncture or either damage your radiator. Okay, so I'm going to flip you guys around and let's go have a look from the front and see exactly how it looks like. That looks about on point. It looks nice and straight. So after figuring out in which orientation I need to install the fans, um, I'm going to start installing them. On the bottom fan I need to also install the pump brackets. Okay, mounted. And then I'm going to be installing the pump onto the bracket. And this has got two screws that you screw in from the side to hold it on. Here we go. Done. Next I'm going to be routing all the cables. These ugly cables so that you don't see them anymore. So here's all the cables that's coming from the fans and the pump and everything. A lot of space here at the bottom. So I'm probably going to mount the lighting node pro and then the fan hub at the bottom somewhere like this. So this is where I'm going to be mounting the lighting node pro and also the fan hub and I thought maybe something like this or maybe even close it fits right in between the screw holes right there
Okay, for now that seems okay. Um, I'm gonna connect it back onto my computer now and then we can come back and see if the RGB works. Okay, I've got everything connected. Uh, let's see if she wants to be alive. It's alive! <laughs> Look at that. Look at the RGB go. Yeah, buddy. So, that's it guys for this first build vlog. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. Maybe share this on Facebook if you want. In the next video, I'll be doing my first hardline tubing bend and run my first couple of lines. See you guys next time.